Since his sentencing hearing opened January 16, some 150 women who were victims of former Michigan State University and USA Gymnastics team Dr. Larry Nasser delivered heartbreaking testimony in court, describing in detail the sexual horror the serial molester inflicted upon them. According to Fox News, Judge Rosemary Aquilina just dropped the hammer on 54-year-old Nasser, sentencing him to 40 to 175 years in prison for numerous counts of sexual assault. That is in addition to a 60-year sentence in federal prison Nasser had already received after being convicted of possession of child pornography, as well as a sentence yet to be received from assault convictions in another jurisdiction I just signed your death warrant, the judge stated after she declared his sentence. You don't deserve to walk outside of a prison ever again. According to Mediate, Aquilina took special exception during the hearing to a letter Nasser had sent to her which asked if he could be excused from the courtroom while his victims delivered their gut-wrenching testimony about what he had done to them. In dramatic fashion the judge tore the letter in two and ripped into Nasser with biting commentary this letter, which comes two months after your plea, tells me that you have not yet owned what you did, that you still think that somehow you are right, that you are a doctor, that you're entitled, that you don't have to listen, and that you did treatment, Aquilina stated. I wouldn't send my dogs to you, sir. USA Today reported that the judge said, you may find it harsh that you are here listening, but nothing is as harsh as what your victims endured for thousands of hours at your hands, collectively you spent thousands of hours perpetrating criminal sexual conduct on minors, she added. Spending four or five days listening to them is significantly minor considering the hours of pleasure you had at their expense and ruining their lives. None of this should come as a surprise to you. Judge Aquilina also broached the topic of cruel and unusual punishment, which is prohibited by the Constitution, and stated, Our Constitution does not allow for cruel and unusual punishment. If it did, I have to say, I might allow what, Nasser, did to all of these beautiful souls, these young women in their childhood. I would allow some or many people to do to him what he did to others. As for the lengthy sentence she delivered to Nasser, Mediite reported that Aquilina revealed he didn't warrant the typical compassion with which she treated most defendants in her courtroom. I'm a judge who believes in life and rehabilitation when rehabilitation is possible, Aquilina stated. I have many defendants come back here and show me great things they've done in their lives after probation, after parole. I don't find that's possible with you. This scumbag deserves a thousand years in prison, if not an eternity, but his victims and the rest of America will have to settle for 175 plus, and good riddance.